Hi there, we are going to solve systems by graphing. And if you need to copy down the vocabulary or the steps, go ahead and pause this video and take care of that. And then when you're ready to go on to the examples, then you can go ahead and come back here. So I'm going to um, enlarge this so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so the first step is to make sure the equations are written in slope intercept form, which they are. And the second step is to graph them on the same coordinate plane. So we have a y-intercept of negative five and a slope of negative three. So we're gonna come to negative five and then I'm gonna go down three over one for my next point. I always think it's a good idea to have multiple points, um, especially with systems because you wanna make sure you're accurate with your line. So we're going to go ahead and connect these points And then the next one, y-intercept is negative nine, slope is one. So we're going to go down here to negative nine and then go up a couple of times for one. And you can see that the point of intersection is at one negative eight. And then everybody's favorite step, of course, is to check negative eight is equal to negative three times one minus five. Negative eight is equal to negative three minus five. Negative eight is equal to negative eight, so that checks out. Second equation, negative eight is equal to one minus nine. Negative eight is equal to negative eight. So we know that's correct. Next equation, you have x is equal to negative eight. So we are going to just have a vertical line that runs through negative eight on the x-axis. And then this one, we have a y-intercept of negative three and a slope of negative seven eighths. So a negative three if we go down seven over eight, we're all the way over here. And again, I prefer at least three points. So we're going to go up seven, which brings us to four over eight at negative eight. And we can see our point of intersection. So we're going to draw a straight line through here. And we can identify our solution as negative eight, four. Um, obviously, it is, uh, makes x equals negative eight correct. So let's substitute into the second equation. So we're going to have four is equal to negative seven eighths times negative eight minus three. Well, these guys here um, cancel out. So we were going to have four is equal to seven minus three and you get four. So that is correct. And the negative um, canceled out right here with the negative eight. 